everybody! Today's video has a couple of purposes. Well, purpose number one, we want to show off um, some of the newer lines uh, from the Barbie fashions. We have a couple of um, licensed ones. We have two Looney Tune outfits, and we also have a DC Superhero Girl outfit. Um, I did have one of my... Uh, I did have a YouTuber request that I take a couple of my L dolls and see if they fit into Barbie fashions. So that was something that we were going to try today. Um, also, if they don't fit, um, I could be on the hunt for some naked Barbies that I actually appreciate and have outfits already made for them. So these packs, I think, costed me a little bit over $5. Maybe they were about, I think they were about $5.95 or something like that for each outfit. Um, I thought it was quite worth it uh, for the Mattel Barbie brand. If you, if you guys can see, they come with a top and a bottom, or they are a whole dress, and they have accessories with them as well. Uh, let's see. They don't say anything on the aspect of... Uh, but they do show uh, some Looney Tune characters on the Looney Tune ones. And... The box art's pretty good. It seems to be about the same for all of them, except for they changed the, uh, the brand symbols. This one is Supergirl, so I don't know what kind of other outfits that are included. I don't know if there's even going to be a checklist for us to know, but I guess we'll take a look at that. Um, let's pull out one of my mermaids. So here she is. Um, this is one of the Mermaid L dolls that I got. I have done a review for her, a uh, full review from her for her um, on this channel. I almost hate to do this because I do know that they're coming out with more fashions that are meant specifically for these dolls. But let's just go ahead and do this for science. So let's open up our first outfit. Our first outfit's gonna be uh, Looney Tune based and we have a Daffy Duck black tank top here with a crazy face, a Looney Tune face I suppose. We have this cute tote bag that says Looney Tunes on it with all the characters done in pink. And then we have these pants or a skirt. I I don't know yet. It might be a skirt. It might be a pencil skirt. With a bunch of characters on it. You can see Pepe Le Pew. You can see Marvin the Martian. Tweety. Bugs Bunny. Taz, Minion Devil. I think that's it for the characters that are on there. So let's go ahead and open this up and take a look. So here is our mermaid who has sprouted legs. <laughs> wearing the Daffy Duck outfit. Um, it kind of fits. I mean, it's, it's, it's doable. It's really loose around the waist line and around the bottom of the shirt. So she is a little bit more, has a little bit more of a petite body than the body that this is made for. But it, it fits her. I mean, you can use it if, if, if you were in a pinch. Unfortunately, we have a little bit of a stick feet going on here and we don't have and these outfits do not come with shoes which is kind of a bummer most you know back in the day they used to come with shoes but i guess that's okay let's move on to our next outfit so this fashion pack seems to fit our girl a little bit better we have the um grown-up teenage babs bunny um design on this pink long dress that has like a little bit of a slant also comes with a silver tone bracelet, which is not silver, it's just plastic. And then a handbag that has a really evil Tweety face on it. Um, I actually really like this one on her, I think. Uh, it fits her a little bit more snug. So this uh, Supergirl outfit fits her pretty a lot better than the first outfit we tried on. Uh, let's see if I can get that to focus here. Uh, it's still a little big, or I don't know, it, the, the shirt fits a little weird. I think it's supposed to be a midriff shirt. I think it's supposed to be, I'm not sure. It could be meant for one of the shorter versions of Barbie, because I know with the Fashionista line, Fashionista line, there's a lot of different body types, and we only work, we're only working with one body type right now. But for the most part, it looks good. To me, I think the purse looks a little bit small, so maybe it is meant for a shorter version of a Barbie, but she has... Um, a cute little watch that also comes with it. So a couple accessories. Overall, I mean, I think these fashion packs are worth it. 
It's actually a shame, though, that a lot of the Barbie lines themselves, their outfits seem to lack a little bit of the detail and attention work that they should be getting. That you have to actually go and buy fashion packs to have um, decent clothes on your girls. But at least the clothes are decent, so I will probably not be using these on my L dolls. But like I said, in a pinch, I think that the second dress that we tried on was my favorite one. Um, in a pinch, yes, they do fit them. It, it doesn't damage the clothes or the doll to put them on. So, yeah, I will be putting these aside and probably... Maybe I'll go on a thrift hunt. You know what? Comment below if you would like to see me go on a thrift hunt or uh, of the such to see if I can find more Barbies to dress with these outfits. And uh, do you have these outfits? Do you guys have them on your Barbies currently? Do you even Are you even interested remotely in buying them? Um, we'd love to, I'd love to hear your opinions below. Um, so yeah, go ahead, comment, <laughs> and subscribe if you like it. Give me a thumbs up, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.